Hi guys, ready for a quick prenatal workout. Um, I'm gonna use all body weight, so all you need is a mat or a towel, whatever you've got, and let's just get started right away. So, let's kick that right leg back. Square your hip towards the ground. Take a breath there, engage your core, hug that belly up and in, the baby I guess. All right, point your right toes, tap the ground, and go up. Tap the ground and go up for eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna keep building on. Make sure you keep breathing heavy for three, two, neck is long, last one. Stay here. Bring your left arm out in front. Thumb is up. Curl it in, knee to elbow, and extend long. Your gaze follows that left hand. For eight, seven, six, five, four. Engage the glue on your way up and out for three, two, and one. Pulse it in for ten, nine, eight, six, five, four, and three, two, one. Let's go out. Plug that shoulder back into its socket. Lift your right leg a little bit higher. Pulse both the arm and the leg up for 10, for five, four, three, and two, one. Stay up. Bring that right leg out to the right, left arm out to the left. We'll pulse here for 10, seven, Let's go for three, two, one. Come back, maybe sit down for a second, roll out your wrist. We're gonna go back to the same exact position, taking our leg out from a 45 degree angle, straight back, 45 degree angle, straight back. Same with that left arm, okay? We're moving in that position. So, deep breath. Right leg back, shine your hip towards the ground, left arm forward. We go out to 45 degrees with both those limbs and straight in line with your body. For 10, point those toes. For eight, seven, engage your core. For six, five, neck is long. For three, fingertips, fully pressing into the ground. Last two, and one. Release. <sighs> Arms above head, take a little stretch. Over to the left, and over to the right. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So, we're on all fours. Hands beneath shoulders, knees beneath hips. Left leg sticks back, shine the hip towards the ground, tap the ground, and go up for 10. Squeezing those glutes for eight, four is engaged, for six, five, point your toes for three, last two, and one. Stay up, right arm comes out, curl it in. Remember that gaze follows your hand. For eight, breathe out through your mouth when you're extending long. For seven, six, five, four, push into the top of that right foot for balance purposes. Last one, pulse it in for 10, seven, six, five, and four, two, one. Extend long, square that hip back towards the ground, plug your shoulders into its socket. Don't eat your hair, pulse up for 10, eight, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that left leg out, right arm out, pulse up for 10, nine, eight. We're gonna drop and then do those back and forth. For five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out. Roll your wrists one way, and then the other way. 
And then, this is hard and it's important that you engage your core. Get it up and in. Protect your whole body with that core. All right, we go out and we go in. We go out and we go in. There's eight more. Now there's only seven. Keep moving, point those toes for six. Five, push those left fingertips into the mat firmly. For three, let's go, neck is long. For two, plus one, extend long, release. All right, I feel like we're warmed up. Stand up. We are going to go from starting with our left foot forward. You take that right leg, step down and back to 90 degree angles. See that? And then as you come forward, balance on your left leg and go into a curtsy lunge. So you're making a bit of an arch, a rainbow-like shape with that back leg going from curtsy lunge to regular lunge and using that left leg to bear all of your weight. All right, we've done two, so you better be going already. For three, Weight is in your left heel, move slowly. Four. Five. Woo. Four, six. Really feel that in that outer left glute. Five, the slower you move, the harder it'll be. Seven, slightly hinged forward. Sorry, I lost track, but I think you have two more. So let's call this nine, 10. Stay in that curtsy lunge. Roll your shoulders back and down. Weights up front. Pulse 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Yes, it burns. For two and one, come up. <sighs> All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with your right leg forward. Take a couple breaths here. We're gonna do one more standing move after this, and then we'll get onto the ground. Sideline series. All right, right foot forward. Pop that left knee. Weight is in your right heel. Sit down and back into a lunge. Arch that back leg over and sit back for one, two, three. Make sure your knee is not creeping forward. For four, you got this. Five, really feeling that burn in the outer glute. For six. Woo. Seven, moving slow. For eight, smile through the pain. Woo. Nine, the lower you go, the prouder you should be of yourself. Last one. And pulse in the curtsy lunge for 10, nine, hands over your head for an added challenge. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. <sighs> we are just going to kind of slow it down, but keep moving. So your legs are wide, your feet are facing forward. Sit into the right glute, staying low, you move over to the left. For 10, excuse me, nine, eight, keep going. For seven, don't forget to silence your phone. For six, five, staying low, never fully standing up. For four, 
three, this feels kind of good after those last moves. For two, but you're still working. Last one, stay to the right and pulse. And pulse, your booty's going back and down. For 10, nine, eight, three, seven, six, chest is open. For two, and one, straight over to the left. For 10, nine, weight is in your heel, pressing into that outer edge of your foot. For six, and five, for four, and three, and two, and one. We go to the center. All right, I promised you that we would go on the floor after that, so let's do it. Slowly, go slower than me. All right. Creep on to your, actually maybe don't creep anywhere, crawl on to your right forearm, right leg is in tabletop, take a breath, left leg is extended long, hand is on your hip or out in front of you for stability either way. Extend that left leg long, tap the ground, and go hip height or higher for 10. Toe is pointed, push up and out of these obliques for seven, six, head, shoulders, and hips are in one line for four, three, two, and one. Stay here, little pulses up for ten, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, extend longer for one. Stay there. We circle forward for 10, 9, 8. Don't drop into the shoulder. Push up and out for 7, 6. Keep circling forward. Little circles for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reverse the circle. Come on, you could do it. We could drop after this for 8, 7. Go for 6, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release for a second. Stretch that left arm up and over. Enjoy it. Breathe deep. All right. Now you take that left arm out in front. Breathe. All right. Left elbow, left knee, and you extend long for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, don't forget about your obliques. For four, toes are pointed. Three, last two, and one. No pulses, just extend long, drop it down, flip over. Whew. All right, so tabletop the left leg. You're on your left forearm, right leg is extended long, toes are pointed, tap the ground, hip height or higher for 10, 9, 8, 7, breathe, get oxygen into those muscles for 5, 4, 3, 2, notice how this is super supported, not slouching, last one. Stay up, pulse 10, 9, 8. For 6, 5, 4, 2, and 1. Point those toes even longer and circle forward. Little tiny circles. We're probably already done with 3, so that means 4 and 5. For 6, 7, 8, you can do it. 10, just reverse. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, one, release. Take that right arm out in front, just fingertips, you know it's light out here. Right knee, right elbow, and extend long for 10, nine. Pay attention to your form. It's probably easy to be dumping into that left shoulder at this point. Push up and out for six. Five, really burning out that outer booty, that outer thigh. For four, three, come on, you can do it. For two, and 
one. Mother of... What's this? Okay. Let's sit in pretzel style. Whatever's comfortable for you. Take a few arm circles backwards. Loosen up those shoulders that have just been supporting us without us even realizing it. And let's go forward. Breathe. Close your eyes. Enjoy a little break. Now take your right hand, place it down, bend that right elbow as your left arm comes overhead. This is like the most simple, and go on to the other side. The most simple stretching, but damn, does it feel good. All right. Let's go on to our knees and our hands. Now this, you are more than welcome to take the push-ups from your feet. Just be careful about your abs. If you see them, pyramid, stop. Better to have the right form and not be ripping your abs apart, especially at this stage in your pregnancy. Okay, so fingertips are forward. We're going down and up. For 10, tricep push-ups. Nine, elbows are hugging your ribs. For eight, seven, move at your own pace. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah. Sit down and back, get another little stretch in there. Oh, whatever feels good right there. Roll out those wrists. We are going to do a side plank from our knees. Just 10 little pulses up. So you're on your right side, forearm down. Use your left arm to help you push up. Left arm extends long, pulse to those hips towards the sky for 10, 9, 8, 7, for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release down, nice and easy, come over to that left side, left arm down. Right arm helps you get up, and then it extends long. Pulse up for 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, and 1. Release down. Let's find our way into downward dog. However works best for you. Oh. Once you're there, take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. We'll come onto those tippy toes. Drop your heels heavy for five. And down, we're up, we're down. Three more. Two. And one. Drop those heels down. Move your right leg over towards the center. Left leg extends long. Hips are squared towards the ground. And you bring that leg all the way through. We're up to warrior one. Now drop into it a little bit lower. Can you get that thigh parallel to the ground? As you push your leg straight, you Pump your arms back. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Engaging those triceps as you pump your arms back for 4, 3, last 2, 
and one. Now, come back into warrior one. Let's flip it into warrior two. Sorry, I'm backwards. All I want to do right here is go into reverse warrior. Feel that stretch. Cartwheel your legs down. Push back into downward dog. Take a deep breath here. We're going up onto our toes and down onto those heels. Just three here for three. Breathe. Two. If at any point you need to go into child's pose, go for it. Last one. Left leg comes a little bit closer to that center line. Right leg extends long. Square the hips towards the ground. Then bring it all the way through. <sighs> Engage your core. Lift up slowly. We're in warrior one. Once again, we extend that leg straight. Push our arms back for 10. Nine, eight, let's go, for seven, six, five, woo, for four, we're almost done, and this just is starting to feel amazing, for two, and one, now, bring that into warrior two. Bring those arms back into Reverse Warrior. Sink into that right leg a little deeper. Take one more breath. Cartwheel your arms down. You're back in Downward Dog. Now, slowly walk those legs forward. Move them closer together. Big toes are touching. And now, with one big breath, you bring your arms forward and you sit back in the chair pose. Let's keep those arms extended up, biceps hugging your ears, and we pulse the booty back and down. For 20, 19, 18, 17, squeeze those glutes. For 15, 13, 10, core is engaged, 9, let's go. For five, four, three, two, one. Come up. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <sighs> okay, let's bring those legs wide. Take that right arm across your body. Breathe in, breathe out. Switch arms. Breathe in, breathe out. Interlace those fingers behind your back. Let your belly and your whole torso melt forward. Shift the weight to the right, shift the weight to the left. And let those hands go overhead, if that feels good for you. Maybe you wanna release them down, either way. Make sure to stretch those inner thighs. Slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Roll out your shoulders. And we're done. Hopefully you enjoyed the view. Beautiful Nicaragua. We'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. I'm from America, that accent was terrible, bye bye.